Hey guys, it's Aja. So today I am going to be doing a hair get ready with me. This is a wig unit that I received from Hairs Market. So this is a partnership with them. They sent me a 14 inch, I forgot what it's called. I actually forgot what it's called, fire out. But make sure you guys stay tuned throughout this video to watch me unbox the wig as well as install and attempt to style the hair and also in this video I will be giving you guys advice on how to deal with a breakup so this is basically just a full guide on dealing with failed relationships and overcoming those hurdles. I'm trying to help you guys out because you know the Bible says you should share your experiences and help people and I was like you know what I think I know a thing or two about breakups and you know going through all of that so I thought why don't I share some knowledge with you guys and you know if this can help one person then my job is done that's all I have to say for this intro I really hope you guys enjoy this video here's the box let's do this unboxing um, I <gasps> thought I cut the um, packaging. Oh, I did. I don't even know the company. I forgot the next hair. Hair spells? I don't know. Here's the box and it's in. Okay, so I think this is a case for the wig because it has a ziplock like that. But one side is mesh and the other side is clear. And it has a handle, so it's like a little handbag. You guys can't see too well. And I got a pair of eyelashes. So on the... Here's a pamphlet. And then this is what's in the box. It's just my wig. So I got a 14-inch bob... The density is 130 apparently, well I'm not even sure, like I don't even know what they gave me. But this is the cap construction. So it's a T-style Swiss lace, medium brown colour, pre-plucked with baby hair's natural hairline. I believe the density is 130. But lastly, I just want to quickly say that all of the wig information for this hair will be below in the description as well as all the website and company details for, uh, what's it called, <laughs> for hair market, hair's market. So make sure you guys suss it out, but in the meantime, I am just going to be cutting the lace as I get into this video. I'm trying to speak really loudly because someone's on my phone. But anyways, I am going to get into the topic for this video, I have decided to do a bit of an advice video. You know, people always ask me for like relationship breakup advice. So, I have a whole list of the do's and don'ts. This took me three whole hours to write and um, I did it about a month ago. Let me see if I can make the writing like bigger because I literally cannot see. You guys, it's massive. This video is going to be all about dealing with breakups. I am going to be giving you guys advice and basically just a whole guide on dealing with failed relationships. So the very first thing that you need to do is just let your... That's why you don't hold scissors. The very first thing that you need to do is just let yourself go through the motions. It's very important that you get to experience the true emotions. You know, if you feel like crying, go ahead and do that because suppressing your feelings, that's not what's up, but we'll get into what not to do later on. It's really important that you are just very kind and gentle with yourself. Treat yourself like you would treat a friend going through the same thing. Just make sure you remain occupied just keep yourself busy all the time and I don't know be productive do a little something even if it's just as simple as reading a book or like watching a movie just do something that will sort of help you get your mind off things because 
the worst thing you can do is like dwell on the situation because nine times out of ten you will be left feeling worse than before. Definitely make sure you continue with your life because life doesn't stop for anyone so you have to remain productive you know. What you need to do is find a healthy, healthy, emphasizing on the word healthy, find a healthy outlet and that could be literally anything like reading, singing, working out, dancing, drawing maybe you could find a new hobby journaling praying that's my go-to you just need to do things that are going to avoid you from thinking about the person and situation because most likely there's nothing that you can do to change the situation or else you wouldn't have broken up with them you know like you broke up with them for a reason and I guess, you know, if it's meant to be, it'll be. But if you're going through the breakup right now, that's what you need to focus on and not focus on trying to make amends or trying to reverse what has happened. Honestly, you guys, it all starts with change of mindset. So it's very important that you remain positive because a positive mindset will literally set the tone for your whole life and get you through absolutely anything. You need to constantly remind yourself that you will overcome this loss you need to convince yourself that you will get over them and move on with your life because if you don't believe that it will happen then it literally 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 will not happen so you guys make sure that you are you know manifesting the power of manifestation is so real also the power of prayer is like the strongest force ever honestly get in touch with your spiritual life everything will become a lot easier so now i have finished cutting the lace as you can see so i am going to put the wig on it looks pretty small so hopefully it'll fit my head oh i actually really like it it looks interesting it actually fits really well i didn't even adjust the um i don't know if i even need to glue this or anything i think i will just straighten it you can see like the knots and stuff but like it's not it's not too bad you know it's not like too bad there's a little bit of something on this side it actually looks pretty good like it's not bad anyways you guys so as I was saying breakups can sometimes really damage your self-esteem you need to make sure that you do things that are going to remind you of your self-worth because honestly once you lose yourself after a breakup it can be very hard to find yourself anyways I'm gonna plug in my straightener got my straightener as I was saying when you go through a breakup you can easily lose yourself but we are not on that so you guys i'll be filming at the worst times you basically just need to continue hyping yourself up maybe change your hairstyle do a little something get that post relationship glow i could like cut this hair but I think I actually, it's nice. It's very important that you love yourself or maybe this will give you an opportunity to learn how to love yourself and also make sure that you are surrounding yourself with loved ones and people that care about you because that will also help with, you know, getting your mind off things, have a good support system and also just realise that you do not need them. Anyways, you guys, this is a really, really, really important tip. Let me just read it straight from my phone. You need to be realistic with yourself. If you find yourself thinking of all the reasons you should be together, make sure that you are also remembering the reasons you shouldn't be together. Because 
that's actually what you need to focus on. Like I said before, if it got to the point of you guys breaking up, then it must have been that deep. Breakups are kind of like a last resort, you know? So if you've really exhausted all the options already and you guys just had to break up, it was what was best, then you broke up for a reason. The reasons you shouldn't be together most likely outweigh the reasons you should be together. So make sure you are focusing on why you're actually not with that person because if you focus on why you should be with them, you're not going to get anywhere in terms of progressing and moving on, you know? And also focusing on the reasons you shouldn't be together will help you, like, not stress. Alright, so I've been straightening this hair, trying to get it to kind of, like, curve inwards. It's kind of cute. But anyways, you really need to avoid stressing over the situation and this is the mindset you need to adopt. When you can't undo the past, you can only outdo it and you can't outdo the past by looking backwards or even taking steps backwards move forward okay my makeup kind of nice today I just need to sort out this bob I feel like it's such an awkward length it does look good back to this advice thing you need to live with no regrets and you have to understand that there is a reason for everything with every single relationship experience there will always be a lesson no matter what the only L's we're taking out here are lessons no losses you need to ad okay look friends I can't say right now so take the L and keep it pushing and I guess you could kind of just use it as motivation to did I not put my phone on sale? use it as motivation to work on yourself by yourself for yourself just basically do you so hard. And understand that nothing will heal you or fill the void better than time will because time heals all wounds. So make sure that you allow the process to happen because it won't happen if you are forcing it not to happen. Allow the process but that is all I got to say for things that you need to do. Now we are moving on to the real tea. Things that you shouldn't do. And I feel like this is where people really, really go wrong. Do not make permanent decisions based off temporary emotions. Do not let whatever negative emotions you are feeling from this breakup lead you to do anything life-changing because, for example, Things done out of anger mostly aren't really good things so I wouldn't suggest acting on your emotions because first of all negative reactions do not solve anything at all and I feel like you are just going to end up bringing even more problems so I would really advise you to be extra conscious of what you are choosing to do. Do not be making irrational decisions just because you are hurt. It's never ever worth it don't do it where is my comb I can't feel it. basically what I'm saying is that you need to train your mind to be stronger than your heart or else you will just mess everything up also can I just add that this side is actually longer than this side or well, actually it might not be it could just be because when I got my passport photos they actually told me that my head is actually like naturally tilted as you can see this is it straight so I feel like that could be why. Something else you shouldn't do is chase anyone or anything, you know. It's not cute to look desperate. This side is not working out. It's not all that cute, but I actually kind of like, I actually, I don't know, I kind of, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if I like it. But you guys, these are some important points coming up, so let me, let me tell you guys what's good. This is where people really go wrong with this whole closure thing. Everyone's on this wave where they feel like they cannot move on with their lives until they receive closure. But you guys, the real tea is that closure is a scam and there's actually no such thing as closure because when you are so shattered by something, nothing will heal you except time. Literally nothing. No amount of explanations can fix a broken heart, 
because let me just read it don't force the closure discussion because there's no such thing as getting closure from someone else you have to find closure within yourself and that can only be done through acceptance you could ask 63 questions in 45 different languages but you'll never actually understand simply because you are in denial and that happens a lot when you're that hurt by something so basically that's why acceptance is key how is my computer already dying we've been here for less than an hour come on that's so weak are you kidding and i got here was on 100 so no excuses man it can die i don't really i don't care don't go searching for answers because you most likely have all the answers that you need and if you don't Make do with what you do know. If you know that this person cheated on you, that is all you need to know. You don't need to know anything else. If anyone did you dirty, you don't even need the details. And side note, when people do you dirty, it's a lot easier to move on because you have a huge reason. And I have actually found that my most hardest breakups have been when the person didn't do me dirty. Like, when people do me dirty, it's just so easy for me to cut them off and like... I will be so unbothered just because I take violation and disrespect very, very seriously. I am not one that is going to be messed around with. So, you guys, you, you just you just need to respect yourself enough to know how you should and shouldn't be getting treated. But like I said, don't go searching for any answers because you already have them and don't make any excuses. Like, don't be like, oh, well, I just want to... Let me just message him so I can, you know, like, don't give yourself reasons to message the person. Honestly, do not reach out to them because that is nothing but an... Oh my gosh, it's so hard to brush because it's like uh, the construction. Do not reach out to them because that is just done through emotional impulse and that's not what's up because you're just going to end up looking stupid. I feel like this is where journaling comes in handy and you guys it's so funny because i actually it's not funny but it's what's up on the notes app i actually have some notes and it's called notes to my ex which is like crazy i just know that he doesn't need to know everything that is going through my mind i have been on the opposite end of the stick before and i know how it feels to have someone pouring their heart out to you and i guess there's nothing you can do about the situation and it's a very like awkward position to be in and I don't know you guys but I have notes to my ex and when I feel like I have to give him a piece of my mind <laughs> that is what I go and write in and afterwards I feel a lot better because you know a lot of times you just need to get it out so that's where journaling comes in handy even if you just vent to a friend but just remember that listening ear is also a running mouth so be careful with who you choose to open up to that's why I feel like journaling is just like one of the best outlets you could even talk to God all of that okay this hair is bugging me because it doesn't look the same on each side like it just doesn't work with this hand when there's further communication with someone that shouldn't be in your life or that you just shouldn't be communicating with feelings only revive and continue to grow so to put it bluntly if your relationship problems could have been solved through communication then you wouldn't have broken up with the person like you guys wouldn't be where you are but then i don't know because people will really be out here breaking up straight away that's why you got to be mature also you guys another really really important piece of advice is not to not to recruit any messengers do not send people to speak to the person okay now this just looks I added mousse and it just, it just, there's a little bump. It's not because my hair, because my hair is flatter than your ass. Um, now my hands are going to be disgusting because of the mousse. Do not get your friends to reach out to them and don't reach out to their friends, you know? Don't do it because at the end of the day, if they wanted to speak to you, then they would do just that. They're probably going through some hurt as well and it'll just really halt their process and... I don't think that is fair.
fair it might like trigger them and that is not cool but speaking of friends do not settle for friendship when feelings are still involved you will most likely have ulterior motives like you might think to yourself yeah we can just be friends but on the inside you wish you guys could still be together that's not cool because the friendship just won't be genuine and it will only hurt you even more trust you really need to put purpose over pleasure when it comes to situations like this especially when the feelings are not even mutual you guys the longer you keep them around the harder it's gonna be for you to move forward with your life it's just going to complicate and just completely elongate the entire process so don't do it speaking of not keeping them around do not surround yourself with things that remind you of them i don't know where the baby hairs are that they were talking about for this unit unless i i didn't cut too much hair off so where they at but i'm glad there are no baby hairs because i'm not even a fan i don't like baby hairs on wigs that are my computer can go honestly but anyways as i was saying you guys do not surround yourself with anything that reminds you of them that goes for photos clothing and you know you don't have to completely destroy whatever it is that reminds you of them maybe just put it somewhere you cannot see because out of sight out of mind when you are constantly seeing something that reminds you of them you will only be getting triggered over and over and over and that is not what's up because it's just going to elongate the process so depending on your level of self-control you know you know yourself better than I do you need to be a hundred percent real with yourself and decide what measures you need to take because I know for some people they could still have all the photos on their phone and they just won't look at it some people need to delete the photos completely some people can just put the specific items somewhere they're not going to see them all the time some people don't even need to do any of that at all because they have control over their emotions and they're not going to let themselves get triggered so if you know yourself and you know that certain things make you feel some type of way do what you gotta do to eliminate those things you guys I keep straightening this hair because I need it to look symmetrical but speaking of getting triggered do not do anything that you know is going to trigger you do not look at old photos if you know that is going to make you feel some type of way don't read messages if you know it's going to trigger you do not go to particular places if you know that it's only gonna have you draking over that person do not set yourself up like that and i know a lot of people literally do because i used to but it's not worth it also do not stalk them like social media is one thing but trying to stalk them in real life that's not what's up do not go to places that you know they're gonna be at i mean you can but if you know that you cannot control your emotions and urges and whatever else if you know it's just going to trigger you seeing them don't go somewhere you know they're going to be because that's just going to be embarrassing for you it's not even about how it's going to look but it's more about how it's going to make you feel and what it's going to do to your mind don't set yourself up i feel like that's something people do and that's why they really struggle to move on they continue these unhealthy habits it just comes down to being real with yourself the next thing you shouldn't do is be petty or spiteful you are better when you are not bitter don't be that bitter ex it's not a good look you will most likely end up regretting it you just oh my battery's dying you just have to learn to gracefully take the l okay oh that's so zoomed in my next point of advice or things that you shouldn't do is not to limit yourself to that one person when you limit yourself to that person only and you feel like that is the person you are meant to be with and that you guys are destined and it's fate god's plan whatever when you have that mindset it makes it harder to move on because 
it gives you tunnel vision and that's all you see all you want to see all you see yourself with so you need to just let go be more optimistic and trust the process trust god's plan you guys what god removes he replaces with a much better alternative know your worth and know that there is always better out there another thing not to do is trying to rush the process you guys time heals all wounds whether it takes you one month three months six months nine months five years it will eventually happen trust the process don't rush it it's something that just happens over time there isn't a specific prayer or some type of remedy that I can give you but if you implement each of these tips it'll really help it's got to happen naturally but it will only happen if you are willing to allow it to happen here is the perfect analogy you are trying to lose weight the only way you're going to be able to lose weight is if you change your lifestyle and follow the appropriate procedures in order to do so it's just like when it comes to school the only way you're going to do well in school is if you study and if you actually try if you're not trying to move on it's not going to happen like you can't be talking to this person every day and expecting to magically move on also the next thing this is very important do not try to find a rebound or someone that's going to replace your ex because you will just have the wrong intentions and it's not fair on the new person if you're not going into it with the right heart healing is an individual process and you cannot heal by getting under someone new that is just going to leave you with a whole bunch of soul ties and psychological issues in the end you guys breakups aren't a bad thing but just the stigma behind it and everything that they can lead to is what makes people believe that they are bad you guys this list is so long but like I just I just feel strongly about this topic my next point of advice is not to dwell on the situation also don't beat yourself up about what has happened we basically touched on this before when you can't undo the past you can only outdo it so keep looking forward don't look back do not regret anything do not doubt anything especially not yourself you maintain your self-worth and your self-love do not blame yourself for what has happened I mean it might be your fault accountability and blame are different blaming yourself is such a negative way to look at it a lot of negative emotions will derive from that you know anger frustration guilt regret hurt all of that and along with accountability and blame do not let that be a reason that you make excuses for them if they messed up they messed up and do not take the blame for that but if they did mess up don't hold grudges either you need to have a forgiving heart and not forgiving people only hurts you in the long run it does not affect them whatsoever for all you know they might not even have any remorse they might not have any regret for their actions and that is not your problem because at the end of the day you actually don't need an apology what's happened has happened you know if they did you dirty that should be enough reason for you to just move on with your life and i feel like that's where a lot of people go wrong because people be real life delusional out here and when you learn to accept the facts that is how growth happens through acceptance. Acceptance is a huge step when it comes to growth and making change for your life. But as I was saying, forgiveness is a personal process that is developed internally and it is crucial for achieving peace of mind. Another thing you guys, do not self-sabotage by purposely triggering yourself. I already touched on that. Photos, messages, stalking socials, stalking them. Another one, you guys, do not count the days, okay? This is just another form of like dwelling on the situation, being like, oh my gosh, it's been three months since we broke up. Don't do that because you are only going to dig yourself deeper down the rabbit hole but we're trying to get out of that don't be counting the days don't have this little breakup anniversary thing don't even worry about your actual anniversary don't be like wow we would have been together for one year now no none of that don't focus on that okay now i know this is something that a lot of people actually choose to do and i actually did it at one point but it didn't really help my advice would be not to set a date that you must 
be over them or else it just won't happen naturally. I feel like that is how you become delusional and that is how you become someone that is just in denial because you're like, yeah, I'm over them, I'm over them. like, and you're not really. You just have to be real with yourself. And like I said, time heals all wounds. It might take one month, it might take six months, but it's going to eventually happen. You just have to let it happen naturally and it will happen when it's meant to happen, not when you choose. Just understand that time needs to take its own course not your course I feel like we are just going in circles with these but like I don't care because every single point needs to be reiterated over and over because I know this video is definitely gonna help someone out there damn I look so good today I haven't worn makeup in like a month my final pieces of advice are very 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 significant things you shouldn't do the first thing do not suppress your emotions or bottle them up you really just need to acknowledge them be aware of them and kind of just deal with them in a way that is healthy also do not let yourself delve into unhealthy coping mechanisms because they will only turn into habits I'm talking about drinking, smoking, any other drug abuse, self-harm, binge eating too even as simple as self-hate, not everything has to be something that is physical like an action self-hate and negative thoughts do not jump on that wave because once you fall into that, it's so hard to get out of and it's going to give you way more problems than you need and it's just not worth it at all. I would really advise not to get into any of that. Like, if that begins to happen, you need to shut it down immediately. You don't want those problems, you guys. You really do not want that. Let me turn this off. And my last piece of advice is not to neglect yourself i feel like this is the most important point that i want to really reiterate because if you neglect yourself you're just going to end up losing yourself and you guys we cannot have that do not let a breakup do that to you because it's never worth it never ever ever worth it anyways i have a few other side notes that i want to mention mainly for all my younger viewers you need to be careful who you vent to not everyone has pure intentions or genuinely cares about you. It's very important to have a good support system but sometimes you really just crave comfort and need an outlet or a shoulder to lean on but just stay woke. That is all. Stay woke. I would advise you guys not to speak to everyone and anyone about what you're going through because it's as simple as not everyone needs to know your business. Most of the time you are just seeking that comfort or seeking an outlet and another side note never confide in anyone who tells you to just get over it because it's not that deep your feelings are very 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 valid and you are entitled to feel the way you do regardless of anything regardless of how long it's been regardless of how long the relationship was regardless of what the relationship even was or who the person was regardless of what they did regardless of what you did regardless of any fact if you feel the way you feel feel that way and don't let anyone make you feel bad and if they do that's a red flag because someone that is going to be insensitive is someone that probably doesn't really care about you or someone that just doesn't have your best interests at heart honestly don't even speak to that person you don't need to cut them off for it because they might not actually know that they're being insensitive and they might actually be a good friend apart from that but if someone has that kind of attitude towards you um, it doesn't mean re-evaluate the entire situation and cut them off for it. Just don't speak to them about that because if you're hurting and someone is going to make you feel worse about the way you feel, that's not what you need. Just like I told you, it's important to be kind to yourself and be gentle like you would to a friend going through the same thing. It's very important that your friends also reciprocate that and are nice to you. But you guys, to end this video, life isn't only about relationships or at least romantic relationships but if you want to look on the bright side every day that you take a step further from that person and move forward with your life you are also taking a step closer to finding the person that you're meant to be with so I guess that can kind of serve 
as motivation because each day you progress with moving on you are also progressing with moving on to the next person but once again trust the process do not force it at the end of the day it's all so much easier said than done but you can really achieve anything that you set your mind to it all starts with change of mindset just be really really consistent with everything nothing can happen without constant repetition so make sure you consistently implement each of these tips I actually just want to reiterate 10 of the most important points so the first point time heals all wounds second point everything happens for a reason so learn from your experiences third point elevation requires separation fourth point rejection is God's protection fifth point old doors must close in order for new ones to open sixth point there's a bright light at the end of every <laughs> there's a bright light at the end of every single tunnel you guys even if you can't see it bad times do come to an end you have to believe it in order for it to happen next point I want to reiterate what's meant to be will be if it's for you it'll find you let go and let God you need to trust God's plan negative reactions don't solve anything it's never about what happens to you only how you handle the situation and learn from the experience and the last piece of advice that I want to reiterate is that regardless of what you endure always count your blessings because your focus should always be on what you do have and not what you don't have you guys the cup is always half full not half empty gratitude is something that you should be practicing every single day and with that type of mindset you will be really focused on what you need to be focusing on like i said don't focus on the loss focus on the lesson you have gained okay <laughs> I think I'm done. I feel like in today's society, there is such emphasis put on the damage of heartbreak and just all the negative connotations associated with it. But like, you guys, don't be afraid of going through breakups. It's life, you know, life is a roller coaster full of ups and downs, but you just need to understand that you will get through it. Don't ever let fear hold you back because what is life without taking risks you know I am here today as a living testimony I'm here to tell you guys that it gets better I'm gonna end this video right here because it's getting dragged now but I really hope you guys enjoyed this hair get ready with me no why am I doing that I really hope that you guys enjoyed this hair get ready with me once again I will have the details and everything below in the description for you guys to check out so make sure you check out hairs market and i really hope that you guys enjoyed this advice video let me know if i should do more let me know what specific topics i should you know discuss that is it for this video you guys i really hope that you enjoyed also thank you so much to the people at Hairs Market. <laughs> I ain't never had a bob like this, so I really enjoyed it, but that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye. No matter what they say, everything looking just right. You got that blessing.